I've been so proactive this morning that I forgot to start my vlog. <laughs> so I had a really good sleep last night. That heat pump is amazing. Didn't wake up at like 4 a.m., 3 a.m. freezing my ass off because the dogs had all my blankets and everything. It was lovely. Anyways, um, today I'm going to start my new series. I'll show you when I'm done. I've got a really cool idea in my mind, but it may end up hideous. Not gonna lie. So, yeah, there's a new puppy. Let's pull it. It says, Dear friend, this beautiful puppy you see here is your new pup star, Bonnie, a Labrador Retriever cross. Bonnie was one of nine puppies in a litter that arrived in January. After spending her first few weeks of life at our breeding center, Bonnie is now the loving care of her puppy walker, ready to begin the next stage of her training. Cute! Aww. So, I don't know if. I'm sure, like, this is a worldwide thing. The Blind Foundation Guide Dogs, I'm sure they have them around the world don't they anyway i sponsor the guide dogs new zealand so we just give them money every month so they help people if they lose their sight um which is super cool hey mr's granddad actually did so he's with the blind foundation but i guess because he's an elderly man he doesn't have the pup but um people that lose their eyesight often will get a pup and they train them up for ages and ages and ages and um once they're all completely trained, they're off to help people and assist people. Kind of like a service dog, you know, except they are the eyes for the people that can't see well. How's Harris doing? He's the last one we were all looking after. But that lady's got a guide dog. Where's Harris? Here he is. He's back to training. Cute. He's so big now. That's him now. And then there's him before. <laughs> anyway, I know I'm a crazy dog lady. Quick coffee. I felt like a smoothie, but I'm really not hungry once again, and I'm trying to do this whole um, intermittent fasting thing. But to be honest, last night I ate really late. I like finished eating at like nine, so <laughs> fail. So either I wait another hour before I eat today, or just start fresh today. We'll see how I go later and see how hungry I am. Um, yeah. By the way, this um, suit is from Bambi. And it makes my bum look so good. By the way, someone said in my vlog that I am addicted to coffee. And yes, I am. It's not a lie. I love it. But the good thing is, like, for a while, it was giving me such bad insomnia at night. Like, I could not sleep. But now it doesn't and i'm fine like it be it gives me a little bit of energy but barely any like seriously it's just delicious and it does like chirp me up but like it doesn't keep me up at night anymore which is really nice so that's really good because <laughs> it was not fun just lying in bed while hamish was snoring getting frustrated because i could not fall asleep to be honest it could have been other stuff too like it could have been stress and outside influences not just the coffee but i definitely think it used to have an impact on me whereas now like i can have a coffee in the afternoon and not have any issues sleeping at night so yes i don't show you guys this normally but every morning i make my iced coffee she comes sprinting in and she just looks and it's because she is obsessed with ice what's this Oh, shit. Okay. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. Yum. She just sits there licking it. I still have to pay my rates. How much is your guys' weekly, no, monthly power? I don't know what's normal because we've got a spa, so it's always a lot more plus. Like, I work from home, so, um, you know. So with us running three heat pumps and a spa, our power costs $240 a month. So how does that compare to your power bill? We're with Genesis. Yeah, it's like a lot though, like that's expensive. But I mean, considering I'm running a lot of power every single day, you know, like there's, computer, there's two computer arms for most of the day. Um, like I said, three heat pumps now. Although this doesn't reflect three heat pumps, so we'll see how it changes. That reflects two heat pumps and a spa running 24-7 because you have to always have the spa on. Otherwise, it's like way more expensive to turn it off and turn it on again because it has to heat up all the water and it's a waste of time because it would take hours. So <laughs> you just don't do that. So good. I kind of don't feel like the hazelnut coffee. I regret that, but it's really good. I just don't feel like it. So much nicer with soy milk than almond milk. I love almond milk, but I like almond milk more in like cereal and muesli and stuff. And then I prefer soy milk 
in drinks and like mesh busy okay so i feel like the i've changed my outfit i've changed my lip color and stuff but i feel like the um horoscope what's the even word um i did capricorn and so i took into consideration like a lot of the traits of a capricorn the actual like um look of the lo the logo <laughs> <laughs> the look of the um, symbols I took into consideration, like the planet, the, what are they called? The ruling planet, the elements, um, keywords and stuff like that. So I feel like it's one of those videos that's going to be really interesting to watch for the creative process and less for the makeup look, even though I loved the makeup look. I just want to take this off. <laughs> I look naked now, look. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun creating it. So I started with like the one that was like first in January and I kind of wish I started with something different like Leo or something that was a bit more like colorful and creative because Capricorn's very like earthy, um, sophisticated, ambitious, you know. Whereas I feel like if I did something like Leo, it's more think of like those reds, you think of the lion, you think of vain pretty much. I'm a Leo and I feel like I'm not a Leo. I feel like I'm more of a Capricorn because Leos are supposed to be like craving attention, center of attention, like all this stuff, which is ironic because like you'd look at me and think I was like that, but I actually hate being the center of attention so much. That's why I used to be so scared to do meetups and I still get nervous to do meetups and stuff because I hate the feeling of people looking at me. Like I will literally have moments where I refuse to like go to town or go to a mall or something because I just hate the feeling of anyone even glancing at me. Like I just don't like being looked at sometimes, it's really weird. But you know what I'm saying? And then there's stuff like Aquarius which is kind of speaks for itself and like Pisces and stuff like that. Like I feel like a lot more blues and like calm and I don't know. But I feel like the series is gonna be really interesting because I feel like every look is gonna be so different. And like always, I still wanna be a little bit wearable, a little bit fun. I just feel like, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what the feedback is like. I'm kind of nervous. Cause I feel like some people will be like, oh, it's so boring. But if you watch the video, it kind of makes sense hopefully. Anyway, I'm going to go put up a vlog and do some more work. I just did a little, like, lessons haul, which is going to go up on Monday. So by the time you see this, it's probably already up. Um, it's actually a Snapchat one, so I don't know if you'll see it. But I love the outfits, so I'll be wearing them heaps anyway, so I'll show you. Um, so that's what I shopped for the other day online. Um, yeah. <sighs> this room's getting to be a huge mess once again. Anyways. Talk soon. Right, so it's 2.30 and I've finished editing up my trying on prom dresses haul. I edited it myself because I just felt like it. Plus my nipple came out at one point and I'm like, mm, probably not appropriate for my editor to look at. So yeah, there's so many fails you guys, like so many fails. But there's like a couple of good ones, so yeah, get excited, it'll be coming soon. Look how tiny this chihuahua puppy is. Can you <laughs> so I'm gonna have my launch. What do I feel like? I don't know. Should I do my peri peri chicken? I wonder what Hamish took today. Oh, there's a chicken and mushroom pasta. Now I might do my apricot chicken. Mmm, that actually looks yum. I'm gonna have apricot chicken. Sounds good, eh, Andy? Sounds good, eh, girl? What have you done to the toy? Oh, you're such a bitch. I will kick you. I will kick you. Why don't you care? <laughs> Hello. Heck yes. Is this pumpkin mash or kuruma mash? I don't even know. It's like some kind of mashy veg. Oh, it looks good. I like to use this salt too with chili in it and pepper. Thank you pre workout, Emma. Yeah, yeah. Oh have, you, have you told your South Island brother and sisters? What's up? We're not neglecting it. You say it because you're dealing with it. It's only like... No, happened. don't say where or... No, no, it hasn't happened yet. But we are um, going to try and get Exo Beauty in stores. And that'll be in the South Island. Am I allowed to say what city or not? Yeah. So we're kind of... We're going for Christchurch now. And Dunedin will be good. To, so you guys can just go out, try it, see if you like the makeup colours. And... What are you <laughs> They're scheming. It's red and stimpy. <laughs> it's 
It's Timon and Pumba. Yeah. So we picked up some supplements. So we've got <laughs> supplements as in like supplements to our meal plan. Um, some spinach and kale because Hamish um, likes smoothies and just in case I feel like a smoothie, bananas. Got some salt finally, plain salt. And I also got garlic salt, yum. And some soy milk. And I'm getting this to try. Um, some cherry tomatoes, carrots for the dogs mostly, backup salt. <laughs> um, I got three pears, three apples, an onion, and oh, <laughs> the treat, Pepsi Max. I'm like loving this way too much lately. Where's Lily's one? Didn't you need jalapenos or something? Oh yeah I did. No, you don't. You're right here. Can you put them in the fridge for me please? I'm gonna have my favorite one for dinner and I'm gonna put some jalapenos on it. Peri peri chicken. So I mixed the sauce all through it and um Yeah. That's what oh. I had for lunch. I'm just having the apricot chicken. The chicken is so tender and like it kind of tastes like chicken teriyaki or something. And then this peri peri sauce is like so creamy and so good. And there's carrots and they're so soft, which is how I like them. Yum. Can you pass me salt and pepper? Mm -hmm. oh, right, no, 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 it's just the brand, I think. What's the brand? Having for? some jalapenos too. Dalmain. So, what did we work out at the gym today? Chest. Yeah. But my forearms hurt so bad from yesterday's workout. <laughs> I've still got freaking like a big bruise from my blood, in blood injection. What the heck are you talking about? I don't know. Just showered and. Move all the things to the trial hall today and what's in here? Who's that? How did he get in there? Hello? That's not a blanket. He's offended. If you like chai flavours like cinnamon, you need to try this. It's so delicious. I just have it without milk, but you can have milk in it and it's so yum it's good when you have like um sugar cravings and stuff or like you want something unhealthy tasting but it's still good for you i can't remember what the benefits of this tea are. i think it's like for your heart health or god i can't remember just google it red bush tea yum all right what you got got a toy good girl come on you can wrap that one up too here you go. Asthma. Why did I read asthma first? Oh, did headaches. You show them your case? Not yet. Headaches, insomnia, asthma, eczema, bone weakness, hypertension, allergies, and premature aging. Caffeine free, low in tannins. What are tannins? Do you know what tannins are? I've never heard of tannins. It's like my name, but said like a baby. There's the most loudest typing sound ever. Well, <laughs> tannins are. A yellowish or brownish bitter tasting organic substance present in some gall's barks and other so it must just be a yuck tasting thing. Is it like bad for you or not? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, that's right. Hamish got me this phone case. And it charges your phone. It's dead right now. I'm about to plug it in because I had it running at the gym. You haven't charged You hold it down. Since you've got it right. And no, I haven't. Well it's like a second battery if you charge it yeah. properly. And it charges your phone. It's quite slow. Show them how slow. Like, it's not. It's slow, heavy. Slow. It's heavy though, but it is really good because like you can just plug it in and it charges the case and your phone, and so you get way longer battery power. And you can also plug your headphones straight into there and listen to music through the case, which is quite cool, I reckon. And it makes your phone white, so you can't lose it now because you were raging about it. Well, it's already right. Why it's this part I lose when oh, that's there. Quiet, yeah. Oh, Although this is like a border now, so it's good. Yeah. I need to get you to put a new screen protector on my phone too, please. Yeah. Well, that's just correct. Same one over and over again. I love it. We've done lots of these stages though. Yeah, I know. I've There's that one stage that we never did. Yeah, but it was part of this island and it's deep within this island. Yeah. So. We're playing Prisoner Junk Monsters, which is the best. By the way, people are asking about who this dog is. It's Indian. It's my mum's dog. And that's why it's at Exo Beauty sometimes. Um, or she, I should say. Not it. She. She is weird. <laughs> um, mum's on holiday. 
but she goes home tomorrow, which I'm kind of excited about because I'm sick of not being able to sleep well because she sleeps on me. And Louie's there and she's there and then Zeus comes along and sleeps like there. It's just too much. I no longer want three dogs. The idea is good, but the reality is difficult. Do you want to watch Sopranos? Sopranos or F1? Sopranos. Sopranos.